after a response to the weekend with the draw this evening, but what, what was your take on it? It was probably a fair result because we weren't great. Um, I felt we showed the better. Listen, this, this is a hard place to come for teams at the moment, so we showed an, an edge to our play and we, we scored a very good goal. Um, I felt we'd come away from some of the things that we're good at. Um, a bit sloppy, a little bit lethargic, quite predictable. But I thought we showed effort, great determination. Um, I still don't think our second goal is offside. It's exactly the same carbon copy of Barrow. Um, but it, weirdly, they had two offsides in the first half that weren't given, that were more of an offside than the ones that, that, that get lat, fell on the other side, gave against us. So from that point of view, that could have been 2 0, and, and then it's a, a completely different game. But we didn't show much of a ruthless edge to get that second goal to take to show a little bit of daylight between the results. Um, and a bit of fuming off in the first half. We spoke about half time, they had two throw ins at the play and defeat them and got a second phase because of it. We went through it at half time on the tactics board. And some of the players didn't conduct what I wanted them to do on the pitch, and then the goal comes through our lack of discipline, our setup from a from a free throw. And from that point of view, it's it's frustrating. But I think when you look at the players that we've got out and the amount of players that uh, we've had to change, maybe I expected too much fluidity. Maybe I expected too much. But when you look at some of the players that aren't available today, and the players who went on to pitch and played very aggressively against a very difficult team, who are fighting for their lives, that that. that they, they sort of to stay within the league. We 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 could have been better. We should have been better, but we weren't. And uh, we just got to keep fighting to find that perfect blend of, of when we go long, when we win second board, when we find the calmness to play around other people's press, um, and not come away from our what our what our culture is. And that is, we work hard, we pass forward, we run forward, we make it difficult for the opposition. And all of our players know what it takes to play for us. And they're little things that over time will be get better at. Four changes tonight because of those. Um, one of them, Caro Malcolm making his debut um, in the Football League at just 16. What is making for his performance? And then Callum Wilson getting an assist. How important is that? I for thought him? Callum showed a, a tremendous endeavour to. I thought he started the game not great, but then he, he, he sort of found his way into it. Weirdly, the better the fullbacks become, the better the wingers are. And Deck didn't start great, which meant Callum found himself doing two jobs rather than one. Once Deck started getting higher and having more of an impetus on the wing back, then you left them with the one v one duel up against the right side of the centre back as a left winger or an arrow left winger is what he was playing this evening. But from my point of view, I thought the youngster did well for his age. I'm sure when he closed his eyes tonight, the one thing you think about when that dropped to his right foot and it went spiraling over that over that terrace and behind you. That'll be a sort of passing memory of the game, unfortunately. But that's the ruthless edge of football. You've got to find the calmness in the moments to take it. I'm really proud of his efforts. I think he showed the, the pure raw pace that he has. I think you can see, I think he said to me before, the youngest player to have played in the EFL for the football club. There's a lot more to come to him. And sometimes you expect a little bit too much of youngsters. It's about that protection now, him improving, working hard, dropping back down to 23s, being the best player being the best player at the under 18s and not coming off the standards that he's already set and don't think he's made it because he's far from made it this is the first steps of his journey On a couple of your glimpses is there any update on Kelly and Junior obviously both missing tonight? Uh, scan results we're waiting upon not great And then back here on Saturday uh, looking forward to that Yeah we can't wait I'm sure their minds would have been here not playing this afternoon and they had the great results against Wrexham at the weekend um, yeah we go again Saturday here is a great place to play and uh, I fans it. On another note, I need to apologise. Um, doing my press afterwards, I didn't thank the fans for the way they reacted to the players at the end of the Notts County game. I totally forgot, not Notts County, the Mansfield game. Um, and I have a responsibility to apologise for that. Because when we go and clap them and show them the respect, they stood there and I didn't see one person have a go at any of these players. That sometimes goes amiss. Because I've been at clubs when we would have got a lot of stick. And I think the fans see how hard the players are working. And I think it's important, I apologise I didn't mention it on Saturday after the game. It's important I mention it, thank you for the way you conduct yourself. That helped me build in this team for this evening. Um, and the way they show their support for the players. I know the fan base is young. I know we're all learning together about being better. Um, drag your mates in and, and find a way of getting behind your team. Because we can only be successful by filling this place out consistently with good people who care for the football club. And we've got to make sure we find that balance. And So thank you for that. And I apologise for not mentioning it last week.